Yo, what's up everybody? It's Drew Barry and we got a new location in Marvel Snap and this time it is the collapsed mine. Fill this location with the rock. Skip a turn to destroy them. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. It's kind of incentivizing unspent energy cards, right? Skip a turn, get a few buffs maybe on your sunspot, maybe open it up an opportunity for your infinite <laughs> or find other means uh, to get a benefit from skipping a turn uh, on top of just destroying the rocks and clearing up a space on your board. I kind of like it. I like the, uh, the mini quest that there is built in here. Now, if it is the first location that shows up, all you have to do is pass your first turn. You, you just have to not play your one drop and you're fine and then it'll destroy these rocks and you're good. Uh, but there's a lot more strategy to this and that I kind of learned as I was playing some games out. For instance, uh, it's going to discount death. Guys, if you don't have death as a series three card, I can't recommend it enough. There's so many locations that come out uh, that benefit destroy packages. Uh, unfortunately, it's been a, a theme lately in a lot of the locations and death is a recurring fantastic card to have in your decks. So I really recommend saving tokens for that, 1,000 tokens to get that card. It's super, super valuable. In this week particular, she's really valuable. If you destroy your rocks, your opponent destroys their rocks, uh, that's gonna be a discount straight to one. All you have to do is discount, uh, destroy one other card and then she's free. If you can play Moon Girl and double it, boom, you got two deaths and you're good to go. And what the deck here is aiming to do is if we can pass on turn five or maybe even six if we play magic, uh, then we can play Infinite or She-Hulks with two deaths because we moon girled and we just get a whole whack of power at the end of the game all because all we did was pass a turn to destroy our rocks and hopefully our opponent did so as well if they didn't well it's probably fine they have rocks on their side of the board that they have to deal with and we can play power there and beat them out right there another interesting thing is that it is destroy so if you protect it with armor uh, those rocks will not get destroyed no matter how many turns your opponent decides to skip uh, so i thought a really fun combination that i got here is the watcher and armor the idea being is that you can find out where the collapse mine is before your opponent if you have the opportunity to do so right um, which is really only valuable if it's the third location so i i understand that there's not an incredible amount of value but you can plan for that and then you can play armor there and pretty much win the location because you will have armor there three rocks shot on your set four rocks shot at theirs if they haven't played and boom you win so i threw that fun little combo in here just for the memes but ultimately you could probably take that out and put something else like wave and arrow or uh, destroy package killmonger is another fantastic option uh, in case the rocks don't show up and you need to destroy nova etc um so you know take it for what it is uh, but when this works it really works you're going to see in the games that we got to some crazy power totals but some of the cards that I can't recommend enough are Sunspot. Sunspot is just fantastic. You're gonna be skipping turns, so you're gonna buff your Sunspot. It's just a fantastic combination there. Get rid of those rocks. Infinite, the same thing. If you wanna wait until turn five to skip your turn, you're planning on doing it anyways, get rid of those rocks, but not at that location. Now with this deck and just in general, you have to watch out for Shang-Chi. It's a real problem. Uh, but for the most part, you're probably not gonna have priority because you're not doing a whole lot up until those late turns. Uh, so you should be okay. Another thing that I want to say is I don't think it's actually that good of an idea to lean into the play of buffing the rocks with like Patriot, Kazar, um, or anything like that. I have Nova in here just to give some power if I do end up protecting them. Maybe there's merit in trying to armor the location with the rocks, keeping them alive, and then Patriot. I just feel like that's too many steps uh, when your opponent could just skip their turn and then, and then maybe put anything out there to get enough power. So I don't know. Maybe there's a nice secret little sauce there that I haven't discovered. Uh, but I feel like for the most part, leaning into the destroy package is a lot more beneficial. But if you do just have a few cards in series three and one of them happens to be Patriot, it's worth giving a shot. Now, I do have some alternative decks if you're in a different series because this does have a series four card. Uh, so let's check those out. All right, and the alternatives. So if you're in series one, the deck I recommend playing is actually contrary to what I was just saying, actually playing into buffing those rocks. And that's because Killmonger doesn't exist in series one. Uh, so your opponent likely doesn't have that card just yet probably fine to play your Kzar, your blue marvels to give those rocks some buffs ironheart even to get some buffs over there is a great option then you onslaught on top of that boom you get all kinds of crazy power and then there's just a bunch of 
good early game cards like Angela, Ant-Man, Nightcrawler, these sorts of things uh, to just get power going at the other locations. So I think that's a really solid deck. And then in Series 2, we just have a control style deck. Uh, so we're incorporating the Shang-Chi to counter all of the deaths that might be out there and then Killmonger to destroy those rocks if we don't have an opportunity to pass the turns. Uh, and then a Mr. Fantastic is actually a pretty nice idea just to get a little power out there. But then you got all the other control pieces like Armor, Scorpion, Iceman, Sunspot to get a lot of value and Infinite is our big finisher. If we play Jessica Jones on four, pass on five, Infinite on six, it's probably happy days. That's a nice combo right there. And then in series three, it's a pretty similar deck to the one I'll be running, except it's leaning more into the uh, natural death wave deck where you have the wave to discount the death even further. Might be unnecessary because of how easy it is to get death to zero this week. Uh, but regardless, this deck's pretty good, tried and true. Uh, you could also throw an arrow instead of magic if you wanted to go that route. Uh, Infinite maybe also not that great, but I really think Infinite and death as a combo this week is just kind of nutty. You just pass on turn five and you're probably solid with 32 power on turn six, right? And two cards is great. Uh, but there you go, those are the alternatives and let's get to the games. All right, let's go, new location time. Man. I want to see if this one works out. I want to see if it has an animation, a sound, sound effect, that kind of thing. Okay, that was certainly a lot of rocks. <laughs> okay, so we're not going to armor it, but look it. I have death in hand. Now, I can't really destroy them other than... Pa well, I guess you pass this turn. You pass turn one, and they destroy it. If my opponent doesn't have a turn one play, then they just get destroyed, and it's fine. <laughs> death costs one. That's nuts, dude. Oh my gosh, we can race to the raft and possibly win it because we can death lock and then death and... Holy. Oh my gosh. Baxter building. Moon Girl. Yeah, we're definitely playing Moon Girl next turn. Oh my goodness. Moon Girl into possibly magic? And then I can infinite death, death. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I want to let the game go out that long though. I might not, I might omit that play, but that is crazy. That is crazy. I hope that, I hope this guy, I hope I run into somebody running Dazzler for some strange reason. I mean, not a bad time to do it with all the rocks filling up, but you'd have to protect them. You'd have to do the armor play, right? By the way, I got this new pixel death variant from a from a chest. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I'm kind of here for it. I don't. Ha I didn't have a death variant. There's a lot of good ones though, but I like the little skull, the little pixel skull. That's what sells it for me. Okay, storm over there. That's fine. Jeez, dude. I mean, I am abandoning the flooding location, but are we okay with it? If, are, are we okay with that at this point in time? I, I, I think we are, because I'm gonna get two deaths. And that's all that matters at this point. We're gonna we're gonna double down on death and infinite on turn six, and I'm gonna do everything in my power to allow them to have priority. Right? The only the only disappointment is that I don't get the free card from the raft. But truthfully, that doesn't matter with what I'm cooking with here. Nova, Captain America, what? Okay, so it's like a Silver Surfer thing, possibly. Seems kind of bodish with the with the foils, but it's fine. We definitely just pass. I mean, there is a kind of a world I get the free card, but the thing is, I don't even have that many locations to play cards anymore because of the flooded. So it's fine. It's fine. We just pass. We just pass. They're going to Sarah into like Silver Surfer shenanigans, but it's fine. Because we do this, this, and this. Holy, this is insane. I'm going to snap on it. 24 on the left has got to be fine, and 20 in the mid is like overkill. If anything, I could have just played a death there and played Infinite on the left. Honestly, that was probably the play. Because now they could like, I don't know, brood and I don't know, find a way. Brood, Maximus, Silver Surfer. Would that be enough? That'd be 7, 2, 4, 6, 13, uh, 4, 12. It'd be close. Actually, I think it would be enough. <laughs> if they do that play, I'm ruined. Because <laughs> I could have infinited on the left. 
But look at the two little deaths with their skulls hanging out, these little witches. Oh man, this is a nasty, this is, the, the death being so free is unreal. Maybe Shang-Chi is a good tech card, honestly, to counter this sort of stuff, because I'm sure people are going to be playing this. I'm sure of it. Alright, they do go with three cards, my goodness. And I got a free infinite in my hand, of course. Okay, please don't be the difference of... That helped me win? Yeah, that definitely helped me win, bro. That juggernaut just gave me the, the layup to the to the dub. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it didn't really matter. Actually, it perfectly didn't matter. You had 14 on each end. <laughs> Sweet. That was awesome. I like it. I like it. Let's get to the next one. Oh, man. I, I, I kind of, when I first started doing this, I wanted to lean heavy into the destroy because I don't think buffing them is the way to go. That's my first feeling, but I could be wrong. It does kind of counter if somebody goes for the armor play. They can't really buff them, something like that. Maybe maybe it's worthwhile, but I don't feel like it's the way to go. We have death again. He's got sunspot. I got sunspot. There's the rocks. <laughs> I don't know why, but I find it funny every time. Okay, I'm going to throw out Nova then. I'm fine doing that. We'll carnage deathlock, whatever we got to do. And uh, get the buff on Sunspot. Oh, maybe I don't want to do that though, Drew, because you got to pass to get the rocks destroyed. So let's do that first. Yeah, they, yeah, he was thinking the same thing. We get all those rocks destroyed. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. Every time death is basically free at this point. Danger room. And I got Moon Girl. Oh my gosh, deja vu. Okay, so how do we want to play this on out? I could throw out Deathlock to just get it out of the hand so it doesn't copy. And that could set me up for. Uh, doubling up on the Novas to buff everything with my deaths later on, possibly. Or do we just want to get cards out? Well, I think we even regardless, even if we want to get cards out, Deathlock is perfectly fine. Yeah. I'd rather the Carnage get destroyed at Danger Room if I have to play that gamble. And he's going to go for the Swordmaster into Wolverine. Interesting. Oh, and, oh, and we get... She-Hulk. So if I do this, I'm only going to copy the first three, unfortunately. So I wager that would be a better play turn five, but not necessarily because then i am only got one power deduction, or rather one, one energy deduction on She-Hulk. So that's not great either. So I do think this is actually the play, kind of unfortunately. I do have to get one more thing destroyed, but I'll do that in the next turn. Oh, I wish I could have two She-Hawks. Oh, 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 perfect. I think, again, I, I still, okay, well, I, I don't know. I'm okay with that play. Oh. Okay, let's see here. Two is gonna go towards the deaths, let's just say, if I can't get to something destroyed. So it's almost, actually, I think it's worth throwing out Watcher here to see if he can get destroyed. And then uh, She-Hulk's going to be super cheap. Even if she's 2, 2, 4, and then I have 2 deaths. So yeah, yeah, it's worth um, trying to destroy the Watcher. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. I'm actually rooting for him to get destroyed. Oh my goodness. And it opens up another draw, right? Which there's nothing I necessarily would love to draw. It would have been cool if I could have gotten if and not. But I had to play a card so that I could draw a card. So Infinite was kind of dead anyhow. And then Bucky Bard's Magic Armor are all kind of dead draws any anyway, so it doesn't really matter here. What do they have? Okay, they have a 12 power APOC. Which, don't get me wrong, that's intimidating, but okay, did, did seriously nothing get destroyed there? Wow. It's fine, it's fine. We did our math, we did our homework, it's fine. I can still play the things, I just don't know where I want to play them. I think definitely one death there to get the buff on M Monster Metropolis. Should lock that in, no problem. And probably the mid uh, get some of that. Just just play it like that. Play it nice and safe. There is merit to putting one of the deaths here in the instance that I get shang chi and everything here dies. But come on, dude. He's running a discard deck. Let's read our opponents here. They're, they're not running shang chi right? Right? He's got a 12 power APOC. That won't beat me. 
Yeah, let's snap. Normally I don't like to snap because I want to see these get played out, but he might get, yeah, he leaves. He leaves, but hey, look at that. You saw it. Unreal, unreal amount of power on turn six. Oh my gosh, Shang-Chi is our nemesis, but even then, when you get so many, you can spread them across the board and Shang-Chi can only hit so many. Holy, and Sunspot even got up to 10. That's like nuts, dude. Holy. All right, this is gonna be the last one. Let's see how it goes. So far, oh, <laughs> nice. Love to see a little bit of Watcher value. Okay, the Bifrost. Okay, we have, we have the Watcher in the armor. Let's see. <laughs> so, doesn't really matter where we put this guy. Oh, so this, the big house, everything's gonna get shift, shifted. And armor. Oh, I don't know how that works. Okay, let's let's put Watcher on the right. I want to see how that works. I think it's fine. Okay, he's got Nightcrawler. Okay, here's the thing. The rocks are out. Now, it's it's not it doesn't seem ideal, but we're gonna pass this turn. And then we're gonna armor those rocks if they don't destroy them. Let's see if they play a card. Oh, they don't play a card. All right, that's that's super cheap anyhow. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so cards that uh, cost a lot can't be played there. So let's just start to destroy things. Maybe get Sunspot buffed over there. Oh, man. I I guess it's a bummer if it's the first location, right? Or, or second, rather. Armor only really works if it's the third you throw it at the unknown uh carnage now make it super free i could just they're gonna get shuffled to the right which is almost a bit of a bummer i might just throw out armor here just let it be there so then that's gonna be pretty good power all around with death in the hand if we can get moon girl um, or infinite because death's free we are golden okay. moving it moving around likely gonna pass the next turn in the hopes that we draw infinite or she hulk oh but moon girl is interesting if i magic now opening up another turn and i draw she hulk If I pass now, it's a 50-50 that I draw one of those other cards. And if I draw She-Hulk, it's not even as good as if I had played Moon Girl. Well, almost. I'm going to magic. I'm going to go open it up, see what I can do here. Let's go on the left. Turn six, I can pass. Buffing Sunspot even further as well. Gotta be concerned with what they're doing though, because they got Kazar and now Bishop and now Ice. Oh no! Oh, it's Moon Girl. I guess that's fine. I wasn't planning on playing it. Nova. Furthering chances that I'm gonna get Infinite and She Hulk here. So I'm fine. I'm gonna do it, dude. We're gonna buff Sunny. We're gonna pass the turn. And then hopefully we draw Infinite or She Hulk. Ant Man coming out. That's, that's fine, dude. Oh, She-Hulk, okay. Would have preferred uh, Infinite, but that's fine. This is fine. Um, so I can play my whole hand out, but I don't need to either. I could just go for 22 down the mid. That's going to be 25. There's no shot they beat us in the mid. And then Sunspot's going to get another 7 buff, and it's over. It's over. I don't even need to play those cards. It's over. I don't know what you did on the left. Seeming like a bot. Chavez. Yeah, that's, that's a bot, bot and a half, but there you go. Boom. I definitely think the destroy package is the way to go. It's the one that's been the most consistent for us. I didn't really get to get the armor play, which I think would be really funny. The wa the watcher armor combo is, is really good. Maybe they should be separated and not in the same deck, but I think it kind of opens up options 
and uh, and you still could find ways to get destroys then at that point you're looking to just pass turns and play the unspent energy and death is kind of a dead draw that's the only way and the other reverse if you're going into the destroy route then armor is a bit of a dead draw um, or just three power at the end of the game kind of like we saw there so there you go. There you go. That's the Collapse of Mine. I hope you enjoy this new feature location and that some of these deck tips uh, were helping out. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.